what's happening guys welcome to rch tech tv this is oppo realme one and today in this video let's see 30 plus best features uh, let's also see some tips and tricks important tips and tricks so make sure to watch this video till the end and also make sure to give this video a thumbs up all right guys now the first feature which i liked about realme one is the face unlock now guys it's pretty fast i'll quickly show you how it works so as you can see it works very fast and uh, you don't actually need to press the power button even if you pick up the device uh, it, it probably works on the gyroscope or so uh, you can see that it unlocks you can just hold it against your face and it unlocks the device i'll quickly show you once more so even if you pick up the device and hold it against your face it will unlock without pressing the power button that is pretty convenient according to me and uh, it's it's pretty fast guys but there is one misconception among people even i had that earlier uh, that it's not that safe or secure because um, it actually by default unlocks the device even if you close your eyes so i'll quickly show you that so as you can see i've closed my eyes but still it unlocks the device but guys there is a setting under um, the face unlock so if you enable that it won't unlock if you have closed your eyes so it would make this device much more secure i'll quickly show you where to enable that but before that i'll also let you know that this face recognition uh, as you can see this phone does not have a fingerprint sensor this face unlock or face recognition can be used to unlock the device second is you can um, use it to authenticate app lock that is you can open applications using this face recognition and third is you can access private safe uh, that is kind of a secure folder i'll let you know in a minute uh, what that actually means so quickly let's go to settings and let's make this face unlock a little bit secure so as you can see you have something called as face and passcode so you can click on that and uh, let's enter the passcode so as you can see you have this option wherein if you enable this one uh, it will not unlock if your eyes are closed let's quickly test that one so as you can see i'll just close my eyes and it says face does not match so once if you click on this and again uh, you know you hold it against your face then it would unlock so this makes this face recognition uh, very fast very accurate and pretty secure as well so this is pretty good and also i like the fact that uh, oppo actually gives a lot of customizations to user so as you can see you can also enable uh, an option wherein it stays on the lock screen if you actually don't want to go to home screen for some reason so you can also enable this feature uh, and uh, not only that guys as i mentioned it can be used to unlock the device it can be used to authenticate app lock and also you can um, access the private safe so quickly let's uh, go to app lock i'll quickly show you where you can find that and you can go to uh, security and here you can see that uh, you have app lock kid space and private safe so let's take them one by one and let's see what to enable or what to disable so click on the app lock and enter the passcode so here it will show you the list of applications which are installed on this phone and you can select which one you want to authenticate using the face unlock so i've actually selected asphalt 8 chrome uh, chess and then cpu z so you can if you want to select calendar then you can go ahead and then enable this option it um, will be you know uh, authenticated using the face recognition for example if i try to open chrome it will ask for the authentication or the passcode so if i give it then it opens up it's pretty fast and it's pretty convenient guys so you try this feature and next is uh, kid space low so let's actually quickly go to that setting uh, so as you can see kid space is a space wherein you can choose uh, what applications to be shown over there you can also set uh, the duration of each use and you can also turn off the cellular data if you want so i've actually for the sample uh, thing i've selected like three applications uh, so you can select uh, from different applications for example which are which you feel are appropriate for the kids and then you can um, you know enable or disable them from here itself so you can enter the kid space by uh, clicking over here so if you enter uh, so you'll not so in this space you'll not have access to notification tray so as you can see um, and uh, you'll not have access to any other application all you can do is you can use these applications which you have selected or you can exit uh, from this space so if once you click exit it will again ask the passcode which is uh, same as the one you have used to unlock the device so let's quickly enter that you can see that the transition is also pretty fast and it's pretty uh, secure as well now next is private uh, safe which is also pretty important for that also you'll have to go to security and uh, private uh, safe is nothing but a secure folder kind of thing and this also uses face recognition as the authentication which is again a good thing so if you feel you have some confidential data for example like photos audios videos or documents you can put it over into this folder and you can um, 
make them secure for example you can click on the documents and then you have something called as import files so it will actually access the files on your system and you can bring it over to this folder i would definitely suggest you to use this feature as well right so you can import photos you can import audio you can import documents etc and uh, next is um, gestures guys there are some important gestures i'll quickly show you that so you can go to smart and convenient and uh, you, if you go to uh, gestures and motion uh, so there are some screen off gestures screen off gestures are one which you do on the off screen uh, for example if you draw o it will open the camera from the off screen if you draw v it will turn on the torch so in this way you can also customize or add a gesture for example you can uh, uh, set slide up to perform certain action slide down to perform certain action uh, slide left or right to perform some action on and you can also set like if i draw m what it should do it should um, unlock the device or call or start an application so if you click on start an application you can select among the installed applications uh, so in this way you can customize this uh, gestures as well so quickly let's see how it works for example you have double tap uh, to turn on the screen and you also have v to turn on the torch let's try this v so as you can see it turns on the flash and uh, to turn this off you can just power this uh, just press the power button and it turns off the uh, torch so this way it's pretty useful guys try this um, gestures so these are screen off gestures which you can perform on the off screen and uh, next is uh, uh, smart call so there are three options available here so when you get a call you can just hold it against your ear and it would answer the call or you can switch from speaker calls to uh, receiver or even if you flip the phone when you get a call it will mute the call so that is also pretty beneficial so you can uh, you know enable all these three features and use them and next is screenshot so what well, the traditional way of taking the screenshot is uh, by pressing the power button and the volume down button so as you can see next is you can use three finger gesture that is you can swipe down using three fingers uh, to take a screenshot which is same as in redmi devices and you also have an option to take long screenshot so if you feel you have some vertical content then you can enable this long screenshot and if you click on this uh, you can uh, you know capture all the content in one single screenshot itself so in this way you have to drag till the bottom of the screen and then hit done and uh, it will actually generate the long screenshot so as you can see you can uh, use this feature this is also pretty beneficial and next is it also has screen recording guys uh, which a lot many devices don't have this feature by default you'll have to use third party application but the good thing is it is provided as an inbuilt feature so you can actually access this uh, screen recording from the quick toggles itself so as you can see you can start recording from here itself or you can go to settings and if you want to access the settings of that uh, screen recording then you can go to settings and then you have uh, something called a screen recording click on this one and uh, uh, you have a lot of options like you can set the video resolution and then um, you can also uh, record the screen taps so if you're making some tutorial kind of thing then this is helpful try this out guys now the next feature is smart assistant this is a very important feature guys you can enable this one under smart and convenient itself now if you slide from left of your screen um, you know left of the home screen then you can find this important uh, uh, feature over here i'll tell you what it actually means now see in the so you can have a quick set of applications uh, you can have the weather information you can have the step tracker you can have everything over here on the left side itself now you can actually uh, customize this one for example if i want to add uh, some applications which i frequently use like whatsapp facebook or other applications i can do it from here itself so you have this plus button over here click on that and you can actually add applications so if i want whatsapp to be added over here then i can click on the whatsapp and hit on done and then you can see that uh, so i don't need to find the applications among these many installed applications so i can quickly go here uh, if if i feel that application if i feel i'm using that application more frequently then i can put it over here next is uh, you can have the weather information and you can also have the strep tracker uh, and um, which is not uh, that accurate but it gives you a rough idea and you can have events wherein it um, you know gets the data from the calendar and you can also have your favorite contacts over here and if you want you can edit these you can uh, rearrange them so for example if you want the weather information on the top you can press and hold and then move it on to the top so in this way you can customize these things if i don't need this contacts uh, tab i can just click on the minus and then hit done and then it won't be shown here so as you can see in this way you can customize what you need and uh, what is important for you so you can use the smart assistant and next thing guys uh, under the smart and convenient itself 
we have customizations available for navigation keys so i'll quickly show you that one so go to smart and convenient and click on the navigation keys now guys first thing is you can use this navigation key uh, you can uh, use uh, this back button on the right side like samsung devices or redmi devices or if you want you can use it on the left side like the moto devices or nexus devices uh, so whichever is convenient you can choose uh, among them and next is if you want to use the full screen real estate then you can disable these uh, navigation keys so you can use the swipe up gesture navigation so click on this one and you can see that uh, the complete uh, navigation menu is gone so you can uh, so there are a lot of options again over here you can choose whichever suits you i've uh, i'll go with the default option itself so if you click on uh, if you slide up from the right or left side you can uh, access the back option so as you can see it goes back and uh, if you slide from the center it goes to home screen and if you slide from the center and hold it then you can access the multitasking tray so in this way this is also beneficial guys definitely try this out now the next feature is assistive ball guys which is also a very important feature so there are two options available out for you first is you can use this assistive ball uh, just as a back button home button or multitasking button because as it's a big device you don't have to you know navigate across the screen you can use it um, with your thumb itself you can uh, drag it wherever you need it's uh, it's available it's accessible across the screens as you can see it's accessible across the screens so there are two types uh, there are two types in which you can use this one first is uh, as i mentioned back button multitasking button or the home button you can set for single tap it goes back uh, for um, uh, double tap it goes to multitasking tray and if you press and hold on this one it goes to a home button uh, it works as a home button so in this way you can you know um, use this one uh, or customize this one and next is you can uh, like many other devices you can use it as a menu uh, so, so like if i tap on this i'll get a menu wherein i can perform certain actions like uh, taking a screenshot or multitasking or notification tray so i don't have to drag uh, you know reach to the top to get the notification tray so if i just hit uh, this notification tray it would drop me uh, the notification tray so in this way you can use it as a menu or you can use it as a um, back button home button or the multitasking button so it's up to you whichever you feel convenient you can use that uh, that option next thing guys there are a lot of settings available for display so you can click on the display settings and uh, first things first you can adjust uh, the temperature so if you want cooler display you can make that if you want warmer display you can also have that and uh, next is um, you you can adjust the font size uh, you have something called as night shield which is um, a blue light filter so if you enable this one uh, there are uh, some very important things over here guys first things first it's definitely helpful uh, if you want to read if you have a habit of reading late night or in the low light then th th this uh, feature is very important it um, changes the color temperature of the display to warmer tone which is very good for your brain and eyes so if you want you can adjust the warmness of the display so as you can see or if you want you can make it uh, cooler uh, next is this uh, these two features are not present in uh, many of the devices in this price segment guys first things first you can have a black and white display which is a very good thing i believe so as you can see you can have complete uh, phone into a black and white phone which is a very good thing i don't uh, think so many other phones uh, many phones provide this feature and um, another thing is there is something called as comfortable nighttime reading so if you enable this one then you can have white text in the black background this is again very useful for reading guys so these are the options which are available uh, which help you read in the low light or you know at the night so i'll just put it on to display in color and let's disable this for now you can also schedule the time guys so at what time you want to start this um, you know night shield or uh, the blue light filter and at what time you want to end this one so you can schedule that thing and you can um, you know enable or disable these options and next thing guys you have uh, something called as clone apps which is nothing but again a dual apps kind of thing wherein uh, you can have two instances of the same application um, so by doing that you can uh, you can log in into Two different accounts for so as of now it's only available for facebook and whatsapp i believe they should extend it to other third party applications as well uh, like me or um, many, many other custom skins too and next is app split screen guys which is nothing but uh, split screen mode so you there is a shortcut for that i'll quickly show you how to access that so you have to go to applications which support uh, the split screen mode for example youtube supports split screen mode you'll have to swipe up with three fingers to access this um, split screen mode so as you can see 
if i swipe up with three fingers i'll get a menu where i can select other applications which i want to uh, see it you know in the split screen mode so for example let's go to settings now here are some shortcuts guys so you can uh, you can see that uh, there is a three uh, dot menu over here so you can double click on this one to switch the application so as you can see now settings is on the top youtube is um, on the bottom uh, part of the screen again you can double tap to switch the application if you just click once and if you click on the first option you will get uh, an option to select other application if you want to so for example if i want to change this one to calculator then i can do that so as you can see and um, i can again use this uh, second button to switch the application and i can cancel this mode completely if i want to so as you can see in this way you have a lot of customizations available here so you'll have to first enable this one guys under um, you know settings and under uh, app split screen you can, you have to enable this three finger swipe up gesture and then only you will be able to access this one and uh, next is uh, call recording so this phone has uh, call recording and it works perfectly fine and if you want to access the settings of the call recording then you have to go to call under settings and then uh, call recording over here so you can record only certain numbers or all unknown numbers or all the calls and uh, you can also set the storage limit if you want to and if you want to check the call recordings you can click over here so in this way uh, call recording option is also available and it works perfectly fine next thing guys under camera you can use the volume buttons to capture pictures so as you can see you can use the volume buttons to capture pictures which is a pretty convenient i believe and you also have something called a sticker so this actually is a fun thing guys so it actually uses the face recognition technology uh, wherein um, it automatically recognizes your face and adds these uh, uh, accessories kind of thing so it looks cool it's a fun thing you can use it if you want to and uh, next is it also has the time lapse mode so or the fast motion video wherein uh, which is built into the uh, camera again which is a good thing next guys to improve the sound quality in headphones uh, they have provided a feature so you can go to settings you can go to sound and vibration and um, here you have something called as real sound technology so you have a lot of modes available over here uh, which allows you to set bass mid range and treble uh, you can use them or you also have the custom mode when you can set manually according to your requirement even if it's not as good as redmi note 5 pro or asus max pro m1 it's it definitely enhances sound to certain extent and uh, next is under uh, this home screen and lock screen magazine so you can enable this lock screen magazine so if once you enable this one every time you press the power button uh, the lock screen image uh, gets changed so as you can see you can see that uh, every time you press the power button the lock screen image actually changes so this is again a pretty good thing you can enable this one and apart from that uh, you can set the theme so it also has a, a pretty good theme store like xiaomi so as you can see okay if you want you can download more there are some uh, uh, default uh, themes available and apart from that so if you want to set this theme you can go over here you can change uh, the lock screen home screen icons so there are a lot of things it come it completely changes the look and feel of the device so you also have a lot of uh, themes available as you can see you can browse and select whichever you feel uh necessary right and uh, apart from this there is something called as additional settings as well uh, so quickly let's go to that so if you want to use otg function then you have to enable this one under additional settings so otg is supported uh, that is pen drives external pen drives are supported so you'll have to enable this otg connection over here then only you'll be able to use uh, the external pen drives and apart from that under additional settings you have a device on off preset so you can schedule the power on or power off uh, time for the device now last but not the least guys a hidden folder this is a very important concept uh, i'll require a minute to explain that that is the reason why i've put it at the last now guys in hidden folder you can hide the applications onto that folder i'll quickly show you how to do that for example uh, chrome is visible over here so if i want to hide this application from the home screen then there are certain steps which i have to follow i'll quickly show you that now first things first guys you'll have to enable the, that uh, face unlock for this one so let's go to settings let's go to security uh, let's go to this app lock and um, you'll have to enable this one guys so chrome is already enabled as i have mentioned earlier so you can click on this application so once you have enabled this uh, authentication then you have some uh, an option called as hide home screen icon so if you click on this option then that application won't be visible on the home screen so to access that there is a step which you'll have to perform i'll quickly show you how to do that now let's add another application also onto this hidden folder uh, so let's add this chess application onto this hidden folder so you'll have to enable this one 
and uh, once you go over here you can see that the chrome application is not present on the home screen so what you'll have to do is you'll have to go to dialer the number which i'm going to type over here will be asked for you when you're setting it up for the first time so it's like setting up the any passcode guys it's pretty easy it'll ask you when you're setting it up for the first time so i've i've actually entered hash one two three four and then hash so as you can see so if you type this one it will give access to this hidden uh, folder wherein you'll have these applications so if i click now i can easily access them so in this way guys you can actually access this uh, hidden folder uh, like by pressing a certain passcode and that would be asked for you when you are setting it up for the first time so this is uh, the way you can access the hidden folder guys this is again a uh, next level in the security so kindly use this feature as well so that's it guys if you feel this video was informative give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and family follow us on twitter at rchh tech tv subscribe to us on youtube most importantly thanks for watching i'll see you real soon